Yo, what's up guys? Welcome to a new vlog and oh man, the 25th anniversary sets for March just leaked. I just recorded a whole video, it took me about 15 minutes. I know, hard labor. Unfortunately though, the whole video was completely out of focus. You can see it's the background is in focus and I'm out of focus and so I have to re-record the entire thing. I do have a one-hot stream to do so I have to send this off to an editor now instead of me editing it because I'm not going to have time literally. Really, really sad, but yeah, it must have been on manual focus. Yep, that explains that. So today we're shipping the weekend whatnot orders. So someone won the battle pack. That's the order that I just happen to be shipping now. And then any minute now, uh, Ikea should be here with the corner shelves for this corner. I think I'm gonna really hate seeing the table go from here. Like I really like having this table space, but also like it's mostly just clutter anyway. I don't really need it. And then we're gonna basically do a mirrored version of that shelving setup, but on this side, it's gonna be awesome. Someone ordered 84 helmets. I've never seen someone order that. Like the most I've probably seen is like 20 something at once. 84 is insane. Like this is like what I did when I did my 212th army. I literally took a hundred and just, obviously I kept them instead of buying them, although I guess I technically already bought them, but you get the point, this is a lot. <laughs> so this is what I would love to take away from my army of P2s if I decide to keep a bunch of P2s from the new battle packs, which I haven't decided to do yet. It's, uh, yeah, but anyway, those are going out, so thank you to the person who ordered them. So I'm about to start working on that video there more, but I had a package come in. So this should be a ton of figures for my next whatnot auction that we'll have a UCS Venator giveaway at the end. As usual, the whatnot link will be in the description below. Oh, Commander Foxes. I guess that's a bag of clone troopers. That's another bag of clone troopers. Good and bad. Oh yeah, what a variety of characters we have in here today. Holy crap, Mandalorian characters, which I should really save for the movie, but it's probably like two years away, so probably not worth doing right now. So we got a Ned B in there. Ooh. Nice Genosian battle droid. So if you guys are uh, looking for any of this stuff, make sure you guys are in my next Whatnot auction, which actually may have probably happened by the time this vlog goes up. So that's why you should follow me on Whatnot and keep notifications on so you know when I go live. We even got a Captain Phasma, one of the best figures from The Force Awakens. Always wish they had done her in Chrome. All right, so I was gonna work on this comparison video because I know people have been waiting for it. 2007 Battle Pack versus 2023 for battle packs, but the leaks just happened for all of the midi scale sets for this year. So that's completely out the door for today. I'll get to make a quick, easy, relatively uh, easy uh, news video and then go to the hockey game. So instead of having to work on this, I now get to do something more exciting, I guess, because this has just been a project I put off versus uh, some news. News is always fun. My goal for the rest of the night is to work on some video scheduling as well as set up some minifigures for my whatnot stream this weekend. Uh, while playing some Call of Duty. What a night. Really should have gone to bed though since I wanted to be up early, but you know, old habits die hard. So I still need to finish my video for today, which is a comparison on the 2007 and 2024 battle packs. After that, we'll be putting in some corner shelving. So that means that everything here has to come out. So I'm gonna get all of that out right now. All right, table is coming out. It's pretty easy to drag along the carpet, fortunately. I just didn't really uh, think about where exactly it's going to go once I got it out here. So we'll probably just stuff it in this room for a little bit, just so it's out of the way. Like we can do it horizontally there and then it's out of the way. And then we can put shelves in over here and then worry about this is final fate later. I think it's gonna end up in the garage or that table's gonna end up in the garage and then it will go there just so it's nice and matchy matchy in here. We gotta do something with this. It's still a disaster, but you know, it's a workspace. It's gonna be a bit messy. I think this room benefits from having an extra table right now. And this room is definitely hurt by having one less table because now I have just everything on the floor. So this might be the worst part. I have all of this foam on the wall and a lot of it has to come off. Yeah, it's gonna be a problem because last time when I peeled it off, oh yeah, that is stuck to the wall. Yeah, this, this is what it looks like. It just peels very, very poorly. Um, leaves a lot of residue and stuff and I don't know an easy way to clean it off. So I'm just leaving all of the residue behind the shelving for future me to worry about, or, you know, I just don't want to deal with it. So we're leaving it, but yeah, we got to tear it down just so that we can at least have the shelves be uh, flush against the wall. So the lesson I learned is these need to go basically on like a poster board or whatever, something, so that they are not the ones in direct contact with the wall because it is brutal looking after it's done and future me is gonna 
really hate this. That's why I'm putting it off. Just made a quick note of some stuff for Pearson to do today. Because today we're going to Orlando Brickco as they're gonna be hanging up some signs in the store, like massive signs. I, I really don't know what they look like, but I was told it takes four people to get it off the truck. They already started like an hour ago, I think. So we gotta get there. All right, I'm kinda an hour or two late, but the signs were already up there. They look nice. Those aren't the signs they're hanging in the store today, or it might already be hung in the store. It actually looks really dope next to the brewery, but let's see what's inside. That's a nice sign. Oh, you're holding that bottle by yourself. Wow. NASCAR sign is not going to get a lot of attention compared to that one. So someone sent me a link on Instagram to someone on some website already selling the new Tantive 4. So I'm buying that and then they're bringing stuff in. So there's loud noises. This guy's saying yes, though, which is good. Things are going well. I might get the Tantive. So while all of this is going on, I'm also uploading Ask Him an R and trying to deal with uh, this new fella I just met on this app, Vinted, that I've never used or know anything about. So we're working on, you know, a deal here because I'm trying to get the set, obviously. I, I was going to buy him a separate label and then he's worried that I'll scam him because you can just get a refund on the app. I'm basically like, dude, I promise I'm not going to scam you. Like, a <laughs> perfect track record here. So... Um, yeah, hopefully we'll get it figured out. So my account got blocked because I sent my email. So we made a new account and we're going to message him again and be like, Hey, yo, how's it going? Definitely about to get banned again. That's so funny. <laughs> I have no vested interest personally, but for him, I hope he doesn't get in trouble. We're breaking things. We're breaking things. We've been caught again. <laughs> this is unbelievable. <laughs> they have to review... Dude, I'll pay Vinted like a fee. I don't care. Like, I just want to talk to this guy. I can't show you my phone screen, but he, we message each other on Facebook now. So we have uh, figured out a new point of contact that we can't get banned on for what we're doing. So Blaine is here with his Legos for Chris. Holy crap, I know that tape. Oh, yeah, got the, some of that the, tape. The beautiful JB tape. Oh, my oh, yeah. Legos. What is inside? Oh, I bought so much stuff in here. Oh, this is a set. I see. Oh, you're going to get more. Yeah. Looks like we've got all sorts of clone troopers and holy 501st troopers. Holy Batmans. Holy. That is a lot of Batman cows. Wow. That's insane. Due to all the work trying to get the Tanev and everything today, my phone battery died. So now I'm sitting in the car charging my phone so that I have some foam battery to finish the deal. So the brackets came in from Ikea to do the shelves now, so I can finally uh, get on that and we can make the nice corner shelf and have everything done. I mean, the wall is just, <laughs> it is so terrible to look at, but it's gonna be so pretty when we have the shelves up. Oh, you know, you'll just know what's hidden beneath, the horrors hidden beneath. First shelf is done, so this one will hold some nice Legos and now we just need to build the other one, put the doors on, Dust proof it, you know, all the other things that are gonna take longer than actually, like this is the easiest part of the process, probably. Putting the metal parts with the shelf on the side is a pain in the butt. If you buy these and you put the doors on them, you have to bolt them to the wall because otherwise if you open a door, the whole thing will come forward. So, <laughs> Karen thought I was gonna let the shelf fall on them. So the shelves are in the corner now. Obviously we can see some of the residue left there. That's pretty ugly, but that will get covered up pretty easily. Shelf is looking nice. I cannot wait to have the lights in there so that the whole thing lights up the same way that this does. It's gonna look super sick. All right, it's the next day now and it's time to start weather stripping everything. So I basically wanna make sure it's basically flush with the top of the door and then it just needs to be even on it so that as I go all the way straight down, it'll apply basically perfectly to the side of the door. We only do one side of the door because it's obviously not thick enough uh, to accommodate two pieces of weather stripping. We'll do that and then we'll do the top strip above it and then the top strip on the inside. And then we also have to do the bottom uh, strip there. And the shelves are basically completely done. I put a few Republic brick sets up top. That one's unfinished in the middle. Um, and then I'm gonna fill some like official Lego sets in all of these inside and therefore hopefully get rid of a lot more bins again. 
So Pierce and I today have been working on some new product ideas for MNRShop.com with like upgrade kits and stuff. And then I'm really trying to finish up this room so I can film a video. By finish up, I don't like I don't need to do that right now. I just wanted to have the top shelves done and looking nice because they've been kind of ugly lately. And then like, so I can pull my table back out and get back into a good workflow. So I gotta clean everything up. It's not that messy, but it still needs a little bit of work, unfortunately. I kind of half lazy measured it out, but we're cutting the first foam board to go on the side of the shelf here or go like right next to the shelf so hopefully it's cut straight enough I, I, <laughs> it's not straight at all <laughs> you know, oh no yeah i'm gonna try to stick it on anyway that's the worst that can happen i have to take it off and it leaves a residue again so this little sliver here should cover up nicely my absolute mess there so that's a nice start i'll finish this up and show you what it looks like when i'm done so i was kind of trying to see if i had more repellent bricks builds to put on display in this middle cabinet just because i wanted to fill another shelf and i came to the realization i had this nice custom death star upstairs in my house above my gaming desk and i figured it's probably a little bit better suited to actually be placed in here so i put it above the 20th anniversary edition figures and i think it looks pretty sharp i put it on some stands kind of bending them a little bit so i want to try to find something a little more solid i had to put two in there to make it work but it does work it's just not like the most solid thing ever but yeah i think the death star looks really cool there i don't know why i didn't think of putting the death star in here before but love it even though you know the lighting is going to be a bit dark for you guys I also need to do something today. I've never really had to wash figures like this, but they kind of smelled like smoke. And so when I sold them on one, I was like, hey, they smell like smoke. That's how they're gonna come to you. But then I was like, yeah, I should probably try to wash them for the guy. So that's what I'm gonna try to do. So the figures are in some soapy water from Dawn, which saved the animals from the oil. And will now save my Legos from the smoke all the same. Ooh, that water is warm. Captain Rex's body, hopefully smelling better. I don't know if we'll be able to do anything about that cape though. Let's drain this out. Oh, can't even see him in there. I promise there's Lego figures under the bubbles. All right, just like that, we got Rex and Cody. What's up? Dumping out, good to go. Should be cleaner. We'll let them dry off for like an hour and then throw them in a bag and ship them. So something crazy just happened. A fan named Xavier in Belgium messaged me or emailed the support email for mrshop.com actually and said he had found the invisible hand early at a store there and he was willing to sell me one. So I just talked to him on the phone for about 30 minutes as we went through the process to uh, get everything you know, shipped out or like uh, get all the labels and everything uh, ready to be shipped out tomorrow. So. That's crazy, the Tantive and Invisible Hand back-to-back -back days. Yesterday for the Tantive, we paid way too much shipping with DHL. I had no idea why it was so expensive. And then today we were talking to Xavier and he's like, oh, you know, UPS is also an option. I'm like, why did I think UPS was America only? But I also definitely knew it wasn't, but I like, I, you know, I think UPS, I think United States basically. So uh, yeah, we're getting both sets, that's amazing. Uh, so thank you Xavier for reaching out. But uh, yeah, uh, over to these. Those. So we're going to get these packed up and shipped off to the guy because I don't want him to have to wait any longer. Uh, Pearson, you are not going to believe the message that I just got. Is it a Millennium Falcon? It would be really funny if it was just the Falcon, but it's um, everything but the Falcon, in fact. Is so, this America? No, Belgium. Again? Would, yeah. So let's just hop on a plane. Yeah, it would be a little bit easier. Um, so hopefully I told I asked him, I don't know if he'll be willing and able to, but I asked him if he's able to buy and ship them. I told him I have the Tantive and the, the other one already. So shipping cost is through the roof this month. <laughs> Holy crap. You built it? Yeah, like inventory it or whatever, or put it for like um yeah. certified or whatever. We're at the Orlando Bricker warehouse. Every everyone anyone who's anyone is here. Except Brett and Lance, I guess. Yeah, it's so sad to see it taken apart. It's a great set. About back together in like one hour. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. I'm gonna send this to Derek. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I, I don't wow. know. You got a, a, quite a mix of stuff. Ooh, this is all from Georgia? Yeah. Slightly used. That's right up my alley. <laughs> I like it. Yeah, I know it's probably like one in a hundred or, or wrong. Yeah. Either broken or not. Oh, that's pretty good. And then here. Oh. Oh, yeah, we gotta make sure. Um... Holy crap. 
Flounder gave me this very cool custom Orlando Brick Co. cape. You can check them out at orlandobrickco.com. Orlandobrick.com, it's not Brick Co. It's a little hard to see on there, but pretty nice. I'll throw it on something. I got a haircut today. It's awful. I've been having bad luck with haircuts lately, but happy ending to our vlog this week. The fella that I bought the Tantive from ended up finding the R2-D2 and the Tantive hallway. So it's 1 a.m. and I'm pretty much completing my purchase uh, with him getting the shipping label done and all of that. So thank you guys for watching the vlog. In the next one, we're gonna have our 25th anniversary LEGO Star Wars sets and Garrett's gonna be here. See you then.